Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today, I'm going to be talking about how I deal with Twitter engagement through using TweetDeck, Lists, and my Notion Mentions database. So my name's Ev and I create videos on systems and processes to make your life better. And today I want to talk about Twitter. So I uh, came back on Twitter, been on Twitter for I think about 12 years now. Um, and I came back on the scene about November last year and decided I'm making a go of this. And I see a lot of people giving hacks and growth strategies and all of this kind of stuff. And I think all of that is fine, but I found two things that have made all the difference in growing my Twitter following or Twitter audience or whatever you want to call it. I call it my Twitter friends. Okay. Um, so the first one is actually showing up every day, having something to say every day. I was doing this way before ship 30. So putting valuable content out there every day, tweeting, you know, if I did write something, um, actually having a link to it, that kind of thing. Since ship 30, it's given me like a real energy to be able to create every day, put an essay out every day, say something every day, have an opinion every day, show up every day on the platform. If you're not showing up every day, um, then you're getting, you're going to get lost. The second thing is engaging with people. So yes, when I was showing up every day, writing something and tweeting stuff, that was all fine. And I grew a little bit, but actually engaging and not just like, Hey, great stuff or liking or thumbs up or a gif, but actually intentionally engaging with people, seeing people as real people and then reaching out to them and actually having community, you know, now people are my tribe. They're my friends. And, uh, and that's made a huge difference and a huge difference to the, the way I show up and the energy that I show up with. You know, and when I had a smaller account, and when I say smaller, I mean, you know, below 500, it was easy to manage uh, a lot of things. It was easy to see the notifications that were coming in. It was easy to read, you know, my tribe's essays or my tribe's posts or, or that kind of thing. But as my account grew, I just found it getting a little bit chaotic and a little bit out of control. So I think there's two facets to uh, Twitter engagement. And the first one of those is actually just your notifications. Okay, so just know this, that the more you engage with people, the more notifications and the more replies and the more things you're gonna have to get back to. And so I found that using the notifications on Twitter desktop, I just was finding I was missing things, I was losing things, I couldn't find that thing again. Um, and so because I'm a Notion nerd uh, and ambassador, I decided I would put a Notion mentions database together so that I could keep track of everything, get back to things. And actually what it has done is just help me um, to be off Twitter most of the day. I can stay off Twitter and still uh, know that I'm going to be able to get back to everything because it's there and it's in a proper system. So that's really why I created it. So I want to dive in. I want to show you how I create it. And then we'll talk a little bit um, after that about Twitter lists and about using TweetDeck and how I set that up. So let's dive in. So this is my Twitter engagement database. I've set this up in Notion, it's in my communities hub. And so I can come in here at any time and see the uh, tweets or the mentions that I have not got back to. Okay, and so how this works is it's set up so that the name is kind of the tweet, the thing that it is. There's a link back to the tweet. I can tick this box here if I've replied or not. I can see who it's from and when it was created, okay? And so the filter that I've actually set up is that everything here is, if I haven't ticked replied, it will show up. So as soon as I tick a reply, this will, will disappear. So what I basically do is just come in here and I click the link button. That goes straight to the actual tweet. Um, it's from Sanjeet. He says, wow, I didn't know about animal flow. Uh, and I might give it a like and a reply just in here. I can hit reply. Then I know that I've replied and I can just go straight back here, to replied and it disappears. And so this has just really, really helped me uh, and given me peace of mind that I'm getting back to everyone, that I'm still interacting with people. Now, the way I get these tweets in here is through Zapier. So if you haven't used Zapier or Zapier, wherever you are in the world, we call it Zapier here in Australia. Um, so it's a tool that helps you connect different online tools together. 
Um, and so I set up this Twitter mentions to Notion. Now what I'll do is in the description below, I'll leave a link where you can just import this into your own Zapier account, but I'll also show you how I set this up. So basically the trigger here is that I'm searching any mentions of my Twitter handle. So if we open this up, you'll need to choose the app, which is Twitter, and you'll need to have the trigger event be search mention, okay? You wanna come down here and choose your account. If you haven't already connected Twitter, it will ask you to connect. And I just choose my account. So then I set up my trigger, which is the search term, my handle. Okay, Evelyn C is my handle. So I wanna search any particular mentions of my handle. And then it'll ask you to test. So you can just go in and you, and you press the test button. You'll see that it's found something. We go over here. And so then once you set up a trigger, you have to set up an action. So the action is going to be uh, the same process. So we choose an app. Our app is Notion. And then you wanna create a database item. Then you're gonna choose your account. Now you have to set up your Notion account. And what you'll have to do is, you'll have to come up here, you need to share it and you, you choose Zapier, okay? I've already chosen it, but you come in here, add, choose Zapier. All right, that's, um, that's important, otherwise it will not show up in the list. So we're gonna choose Notion, that's our Notion account. We're gonna set up our action, okay? So choose the database. So you'll need to go in and set up your database just like I did in here. So, and whatever fields that you want, you get to, to put those in. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to go and you want to kind of associate those fields with what's coming in from Twitter. So uh, you're going to want to do the tweet, right? So you come in here and you just, if we go show full options, you can just see here like, you know, uh, so the text is like what the actual, that's your actual tweet. You can see the full name of the person, the URL, um, and there's a whole lot of things that you can actually kind of take from Twitter and put into Notion. And so you just go through and you fill all your fields in. So you see here, I've got tweet, which is the text. I've got from, which is like the full name and then the username I put in brackets. Uh, I've got the link so that then I can link back out. It doesn't matter if you have a couple of mentions a day or you know potentially a hundred or a couple of hundred if you want to scale your account you have to be able to scale your engagement and this is the only way i've been able to do that without going crazy on twitter okay it is so easy to get caught up and like just be constantly replying to people and now i just have peace of mind that i'm always going to be able to get back to people it may not be straight away but at some point during the day i'm going to be able to do that and i can do it in a really systemized and process driven way which is how i work so guys, that is part one of how I do engagement. And that's really like reactive engagement. Okay. So that's anyone who's replied to me, anyone who's commenting on my tweets, any of that, that is how I'm getting back to people. But that's only one part of engagement. If you are only doing that, you are only being reactive and it's really just one half of the coin. So what you want to be able to do is really uncover new people on Twitter, you want to engage in accounts that are engaging with you, you want to engage with other people's content. And so the best way that I found to do that is through Twitter lists. I have relied on the algorithm for a really long time, uh, but it's just not cutting it for me anymore. And I'm missing out on not just new people, but also like people who have really supported me for a long time. And I'm missing out on, on being a supporter back to them. I've tried Twitter lists for a really long time and kind of failed miserably at them. Credit to some people who have put some really cool lists together. Dave Beck, a week or so ago, put kind of his two Twitter lists out there, which is scroll here first, scroll here second. And I thought that was excellent. It really um, prompted me to get back into using my Twitter lists and creating some that are, uh, have really helped me uh, in the last couple of weeks. 
uh, make sure that I'm being intentional on Twitter, intentional about reaching out, intentional about engaging. So let's jump into that and I'll show you exactly how all of that works. All right, now, if you are not sure about lists, here is where you find them. So when you're in Twitter, this is Twitter for desktop, you just come here to lists and you will see a whole lot of lists that one, you're subscribed to and that two, you've created. So if you wanna create a new Twitter list, you just come up the top here and just go new list and you can give it a name, a description, and then I make my three Twitter lists private these particular ones. There's other Twitter lists that I will put publicly. Once you've gone through and done that, then you can go through um, and go to next and it will give you all of your followers and you can choose who you want on that list. If you want to add new people to lists, it's really simple. So if I just come here to my home, Michelle, she's new into ship 30. I can just come here, click on this three dots more and then just go add and remove to lists and so I might add her to my tr new tribe members and then go save and that's it that's how you add people to lists so how do I manage it what are my lists all of that kind of thing so to do that we're going to have to jump into TweetDeck so this is TweetDeck here and as you can see it's kind of uh it has all these columns and you can scroll over and kind of do all things so i've got three lists that i set up on twitter and these have been invaluable for me okay so firstly i have a list called inner circle tribe it's a small list it is people who have cheered me on it's my kind of cheerleaders and I want to make sure I'm giving back to them. I want to make sure that I'm engaging with their content and they're just my, my, they're my people. Um, and if I can't do anything else in a day, I'm there, I'm with them and, uh, and we're interacting together. And this is how you build uh, real relationships on Twitter. Um, this is how you build your neighborhood and your corner of the Twitter universe. The next list that I have, which is this one here, is my minimum viable tribe. So if I do not have any other time during the day, I want to make sure that I jump into this list here. These are people that I found interesting. These are people that inspire me. They're people that I want to make sure are a part of my tribe and I want to make sure that I'm engaging with them every day. And then the third list is my, my new tribe members. So these are new people. They are people that I'm discovering, um, whether that's through Ship30 or just through other communities that I'm involved in. So I just pop them in here. And so what happens is as I'm going uh, throughout the day, if I've got extra time, I'm jumping into my new tribe members and I'm putting time into them and I'm trying to amplify them and trying to really build relationships. And so then, you you know those tr new tribe members then kind of like eventually graduate into minimum viable tribe people from minimum viable tribe they graduate into inner circle tribe and so what's happening is that all the time i'm really scaling this engagement and then i have other lists it's june ship 30 for 30 so i've got the whole ship 30 list i can also look at my notifications my messages all my tweets i've got thought leaders i've got previous may ship 30 so there's a whole lot of stuff in there so once you've set up your lists the way to work this is you can just add columns. So you come down here, you add a column. I have my lists and then I search for the list that I that I want. So if I want it in a circle, I just add the column again. So guys, that is how I'm managing Twitter at the moment. And I hope you found it helpful. You might be at a stage where you, you don't have that much engagement happening. So let me give you a little tip is the way to create engagement is to engage. I have been engaging for the past 30, 60, 90, you know, all those days and all of that adds up. And so um, I didn't get here suddenly one day just by, you know, joining Ship 30 or doing that. I have been diligently engaging over that time. And so hopefully, you know, even if it's just the lists that you take away from this, you might not need the mentions database, but I hope that something here has really sparked an idea for you. If I could say anything to end this video, I'd say this, you know, that Twitter is not about the numbers. I don't really care about the numbers. Twitter is about people. It's about the tribe that I'm building. It's about the value that people are giving to me that I can give to people. Look, you can grow on Twitter uh, by using the hacks and by, you know, doing all of that stuff that people tell you. 
but you're gonna have a much more fun if you treat it like a party and you make sure that you are getting in there and you're engaging with people and you're making friends with people. That's the way to grow on Twitter. So hopefully some of these tips might help you to do that, not just with authenticity, but also in kind of a process driven way. That's the only way I know how to do things guys. And it's the only way I know how to really do them well. So anyway, hope that was really helpful. If you do have any questions, please put them in the comments below or come join me over on Twitter. It's a party over there. So please come over, slide into my DMs if you need to ask me any questions about this video or let me know what other videos you would like to see. So till next time, guys, I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next video.